Good afternoon, students. Uh, last day we have read a very beautiful story of Nasruddin. And uh, question number three, I gave you as homework to answer one to eight. I will send the answers of those questions in the group. Please match, check whether it is correct or not. Now, for today, we are going to move question number four, word study. Let's uh, see what are the things. Question number one, a meal at an expensive restaurant cost. Expensive, expensive. That is the word to study. A meal at an expensive restaurant cost. Option A, a lot of money. Or be just a little money. If it is expensive, it should be a lot of money. Number two, a delicious smell is. What is the word delicious means? Is it a bad smell or a good smell? Surely, delicious means a good smell. Number three, to enjoy a meal means to enjoy enjoy a meal means to like it or to put it in a bag surely enjoy means like it number four you pay for a meal with you pay for a meal with food or you pay for a meal with money surely in a restaurant or a hotel we pay for a meal with money not with food. Number five. A coin is. A coin. Coin. Coin is. Money that is flat. And made of paper. Money that is made of metal. Coins are not made of paper. They are made of metals. Language detective. Find the three different words. Used in the story. To describe foods, they all mean very nice. What are the three different... While reading the story, you might have noticed different adjectives are being used to describe the foods. All of them mean very nice. Uh, the different three words are... One is delicious. Delicious is there. Uh, another word used in the story is lovely and the third one is wonderful. To describe the meal, the writer of the story have used uh, three different words. All of them mean very nice. The words are delicious, lovely and wonderful. See question number six. Talk about these problems. What is a fair solution? What is a good solution? There may be more than one answer. We will discuss question number one and two. And question number three will be a homework question. There are four biscuits. And eight children. All the children like biscuits. How can you solve this problem fairly? I repeat the question. There are four biscuits and eight children. All the children like biscuits. How can you solve this problem fairly? So here there are many different answers. One can be give half a biscuit to each child. Take a biscuit, make it uh, two parts. So you will get eight parts. Give half a biscuit to each child. Number two, there is only one ball, a football or something like that. Sam and uh, Jamil. Both want to play with it. How can they find a fair solution? Just one ball? 
uh, two children or two boys both of them want to play at the same time uh, what what they can do so uh, one one solution is that they could play with the ball together they can play together or you know they could take turns one could have it for 10 minutes and then the other could have it for the second 10 minutes like that read question number three and uh, find out the answer write down you have space here and these questions also write the answers in the textbook go to the activity book Rearrange the things. Number the sentences in the right order, 1 to 7. The summary of the story is given. Summary of the story is given. You want to arrange them in the order, 1 to 7. Uh, the starting sentence is, A poor man sat outside a restaurant and enjoyed the delicious smell. We have to write one here and complete, find out which is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Question number two, write these sentences correctly. Use capital letters. See, beginning should be capitalized. Beginning sentence, beginning, all the sentence, it's beginning should be capitalized that you know that. Use capital letter. Use full stop. At the end of the sentence, use full stop. Question mark. If it is a question, starting with the auxiliary verb, uh, can, it's a question, or a question word, find out whether it is a question or not. If it is a question, add a question mark at the end. Then speech marks. Speech marks just like this. Directly delivered sentences. In the textbook, you can see there are a lot of speech marks used. If the sentence is delivered directly from a speaker or a person, we have to use speech mark. Then comma to separate uh, things and to separate the short responses. Just like uh, good. You can see the third one. Good. Comma. Said. So, of course, comma. So, to separate short responses, we use comma. And to separate the items, pen, comma, pencil, comma, eraser, comma, and. So, to separate the items also, we use comma. So, here also, you use comma wherever it is necessary. And uh, write the things in the textbook. Question number three, read, read the paragraph, read the story and answer the questions. See, uh, there is a short story is given and uh, you have answers with options. Circle, circle the correct answers. Uh, do question number one, two and three as homework. Thank you.